Okay, we have here on the board a problem from the MIT Integration Meet 2018. This is problem number 20. Integral of cosecant x times secant x dx. I actually kind of thought, even though this is a pretty straightforward um, trig integral, I still thought it was pretty interesting. And what I decided to do is to do it three different ways, three methods, but each of them are gonna go pretty quick. So let's get started. At first, what I did is just rewrote this in terms of sines and cosines. So we'll have one over sine x times 1 over cos x dx. And then what I did here was, this isn't very intuitive, but this works really nice. You can multiply the numerator and denominator by secant squared. And then let's see what happens now. So then we'll have in the numerator is secant squared. In the denominator, secant is 1 over cosine, so one of the cosines is going to cancel, and we just have sine over cosine in the denominator. But that's the same thing as tangent. And then the beautiful thing about that is that um, the derivative of tangent is actually secant squared. So you could do a super quick u sub, but I'm not going to, I think we can see that, so I'm not going to spend more time on that. But once we have our u sub, and this is our u, and the numerator is in our d, then we're just going to have ln of our u, which is tan x. So our answer is going to be ln tan x plus c. Okay, so that was method one, so then on to method two. I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the first one where we're gonna rewrite this in terms of sines and cosines in the denominator. And then we have this one here. What we'll do is we'll make use of, this is a pretty common trick, is just to take a one when we have a trig integral and just rewrite it as sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Okay, so let's break this into two separate integrals. Okay, and then you'll see that we have some nice cancellation. We can cancel one sine here, and we can cancel one cosine here, but then what we're left with is this one's just gonna be the integral of tangent, and this one's gonna be the integral of cotangent. We know the integral of tangent is ln secant x, and then we have our integral for cotangent, that's gonna be actually ln sine of x. Then with the properties of logs, we can multiply, we can bring these two together and multiply. So we'll have ln times secant x times sine x, but secant is just one over cosine. So then when we multiply this together, we get back ln tan x plus c. Method three, we'll again write this, <laughs> I didn't even think about it, but I have the same first step for all three methods. But then from here, what I can do is I can just add a two on front, multiply a two in front there, but I just need to multiply by a two outside so that those would cancel. But then we can use our um, double angle formula here, and this is the same thing as sine of two x. So then when we rewrite this, since sine of two, sine is in the numerator, sorry, sine's in the denominator, we can write this as cosecant of two x. So we'll have cosecant 2x dx. And this is a pretty common integral, right? The integral of um, cosecant is natural log cosecant minus cotangent. So we do that. We need to we need to notice though we have a 2 on here. So we'll bring a 2 out front. So what's going to happen is we're going to have our 2. Then we need to divide by a 2. And for our integral of cosecant, we'll have ln um, cosecant 2x minus cotangent 2x. 2 over 2 is 1. And now this is a perfectly good answer. The only thing is we notice that it's definitely not, or it doesn't look like that. So we just need to show that that's the same thing. So I'm gonna do, let's just take a look at this right here. Okay, so this thing is gonna be the same as one over sine of two x minus cotangent, which is cosine two x over sine two x. So we have the same denominator. So we can write this as one minus cosine two x over sine 2x. But again, let's use um, double angle formulas again. So cosine of 2x, I can write that as 1 minus 2 sine squared x. This is the real problem we have is we want to get rid of these double angles. So we'll do that there. And then in the denominator, we'll write 2 sine x as 2 sine x cos x. Our ones are going to cancel. 
Okay, one minus one is zero. We just didn't distribute this minus in here. We're gonna have a plus two sine x. So to finish this off, I think um, we're gonna have two sine squared x over two sine x cos x. Twos cancel, one sine cancels. Sine over x, sine x over cosine x is tan x, but that's what we wanted, right? Because we just, we took this piece and we showed it's tan x. So therefore we can write this as ln tan x plus c. Same as this, and that's our solution. So that's MIT 2018, problem number 20. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great day.